excuse me while I jump in here for a second. We got Fooly Fool in the studio. Um, let's talk about Earl Zero, because this is a dub right now with King Tubby. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I want to get right to King Tubby in a second. Before you do, while you're listening to music, you're telling me some things about, about Earl Zero. So, um, uh, what, how was your entrance with Earl Zero? How did you guys meet up? We, 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 we were living in the same neighborhood, Greenwich Farm, which is called Greenwich Town in Kingston. And that's how, because when Syndicate, when we, you know, when we um, were together, the, the band was formed in um, Greenwich Farm, and then Earl Z was living a couple street down from us. You know, so these guys, young guys used to come around and, you know, music, you know, word spread around. Yeah, man, there's a band down there, man. And so these little guys used to come around. Earl Zero, Philip Fraser, mm-hmm. you know, Prince, um, Prince the freedom, Adam. The Freedom Sound. Yeah, yeah. you know, um, Bertram, those guys. Mm-hmm. But you have to remember, these guys wasn't, they was singing with a little guitar in street corners. Uh-huh. It was like, you know, I mean, these guys was artists yet. These guys was sure. just singing, in, you know guitar sure. so anyhow so that's how we get to meet her zero you know and come around and listen to the band and then you know start saying hey man I, you know i can sing some song man and <laughs> that's it you know and the song that earl zero wrote you're just telling me about that none shall escape mm-hmm. um what happened with that tune there's something uh, about well, a band here that well earl zero wrote that song and um what happened him went to sing it for bonnie lee Okay. I think Bonnie Lee didn't really too like how he was singing it or something. Okay. And at the time, Bonnie Lee had an artist named Johnny Clark. Mm-hmm. Now, Johnny Clark also used to be, you know, we used to do a lot of work with Johnny Great Clark singer. too. One in studio too. Mm-hmm. And live. And then he had Johnny Clark redo the vocally. And then oh, okay. make it more popular. And it was a very popular song. And then, many years after, some a group here did it over and call it Egyptian reggae, which sell like a cup, like a million or two million copy. Some what places. Was the, what was the name of that group? I don't remember the, the name of the group. Uh, the. Earl Zero probably might know the name of it, but they sure. make it, made it over and call it Egyptian reggae. Okay. But the good thing about it that Earl Zero made some money off it, but you know, it's a sad thing again that Earl Zero himself didn't sure. really make it uh, in himself by singing that song. But we also did it over our album, Syndicate. Okay. Was this an always. So we did it over uh-huh. to and did a, a version of it too. Yeah. All right. Now, King Tubby. Mm-hmm. This man, and uh, me and Sam had talked about it a couple of days ago. There's not even, uh, there's only one little clip on mm-hmm. that man. Uh, right. You know, uh, it's his very undocumented. Uh, person within the reggae scene. I mean, there's you know only a few pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it like working with King Tubby? Well, you know, King Tubby. We have to. We have to people don't know the, the the genius about King Tubby. Because King Tubby was a man who was electronic genius. He used to build amplifiers and electronically, you know. So he used to build a lot of sounds for these guys way back. Mm-hmm. We're talking about dancehall, you know, sounds. He used to build those things, you know. The, and um, and then get into being in the studio, sure. and from there you know into the, the 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 recording world. So he was the man was a genius, but he's like underground. You know, a lot of people didn't know of him because Toby was a, a guy who was kind of observed himself, didn't really want to go out too much. You know. Okay. But we people know him in Jamaica as electronic genius, and then him coming to this whole thing and the, the dub thing, and because he used to make some of the best amplifiers with some sound that I mean I'm telling you when him crank that bass you know you see he has a sound that a one box had like 418 speakers <laughs> you know 418 and you talk about like a 20 box with dub with 418 or 218s that's the bottom end and when wow. him crank that <laughs> his earthquake <laughs> I'm telling you, you live in earthquake. <laughs> so he was known for those things. King Tubby, so it was it was drum and bass specialist. So I mean, when the bass start, man, I'm telling you, wow. wow, it's serious business. I'm talking about a mile away. You feel the bass. Wow. So he he was like that, and then that's oh, actually even scientists came in you now as a young boy come by and used to hang out and you know 
the tub is teaching him about electronics and all those things and then he's used to experiment and the you know all those um you know the, you call it the effects and he becomes they call him just the scientist now because he used to like to experiment <laughs> you know and, which was a good thing because he becomes that he experiment sure. and he becomes very popular with that yeah. That's, yeah, music uh, is a very experimental but, thing. But King Tubbies was <laughs> just, uh, you know, I, I would like to see more say about King Tubbies, you know, about him. But, you know, because a lot of people really don't get a chance to really know of this great man work electronically and, you know, what he brings to also with the dub section there as far as the Jamaican music go, you know, from sure. there. Say. So it, it would be nice to have something more documented about him what artists did you record uh in, you know with in king tubby studio what artists did you record with singers Gosh, i can't remember I, yeah. i'm sorry but it's a lot <laughs> okay. of different people but he sure. had a little studio back in waterhouse sure. there where it was you know so okay. but the, you know different studio but some of you have to understand again too some of these artists never did make the big time okay but the music was great sure but the name of some of these uh, artists re really never really make it to oh, that yeah. level of, you know, to become the, the, that international way. But the music was great. Would you